All right, so big question during the holidays. How much weight do you think I'm going to gain during the holidays? That's a question a lot of people ask uh, us at RX Healthy Habits. And uh, I did a little research on this, and I've done this, I think, a few years ago, too. I looked into it a little bit because I was curious. And uh, I was surprised at the results, and I'm going to go through that with you. I'm going to cover three things. Now, again, it's all on my blog. I'm, I'm just going to skim the surface. I hate long videos. I want to keep this five minutes close to as I can. So I'm going to go ripping through these, but they're all in much more detail on my blog, rxhealthyhabits.com. Sign up for my email, rxhealthyhabits at gmail.com. Send me a request to go on, opt in. You can't believe how much is in there. It's so awesome. Anyway, three points when it comes to how to weight gain uh, and how to prevent it. And maybe if you, uh, well, let me say it this way. Number one, we're going to talk about how much weight you can expect to gain, unfortunately. Uh, two, maybe how you can prevent gaining that in the first place. We'll talk about that. And number three, what if you do put a few pounds on? So let's go through. How much extra weight? Well, the experts say anywhere from one to five pounds. But the good news is it's actually probably only going to be more like uh, two to three pounds at the most. Now, if you have some really... You're already maybe, let's say, uh, you know, way over a BMI of 35, you might tend to towards the five pounds. But typically, most Americans are going to do one to two pounds during the holiday. So that's the good news, all right? I guess it's not as bad as what some of the experts say. But it also varies from person to person. So uh, some gain more, some gain less. Some of that is genetics, some is lifestyle choices, some is holiday habits, some is fitness. You know, all that's going to be a factor. But the bad news is... <laughs> When it comes to holiday weight gain, it's just a cumulative effect. So if you put on one or two pounds every year uh, for 10 years, that's 20 pounds. So I'm sorry, for 10 years, for a decade, that's 20 pounds. There's where the problem is with holiday weight gain. It's not that you put on that much. It's just that you carry it to the next year. So that's bad. So what are some good hacks, number two, or strategies to minimize or prevent holiday weight gain? And this is all in the blog. They go through a lot of detail on this, and there's so many things you can do. But they're actually real simple things. Portion control. We talk about that in the blog. Uh, staying active. So vital that if you have an exercise program where you walk so much a week, you pretty much want to double that. And that's still not going to mean that you can have you know, a second or third helping. Uh, that, that's just going to mean that you're going to be burning a little bit of what you're going to consume. But nowhere near enough unless you did really strenuous things. I went on a hike yesterday. Climbed to a 6,500 feet. Very grueling hike. Five hours. Uh, it was 1,000 calories. But... Did I come home and eat a thousand calories? No, but I realized that burns like that once in a while during the holidays are good. Now that's crazy. You don't have to do that. I'm just pointing out that you want to make sure you do some extra things. Uh, stay hydrated, huge. If you want to prevent uh, some holiday weight gain, the more fluids you can have that aren't sugary beverages or alcoholic beverages, the better. And that brings me to the next thing: is limit your alcohol because believe it or not, that is so high in calories you have no idea, and it doesn't make you feel full. So that's where most people get in trouble with the holidays is the alcohol. Don't skip meals saying, hey, I'm going for a big Thanksgiving dinner or a big Christmas uh, a holiday dinner. I'm just going to really you know, not eat a lot all day. Now, it's the worst thing you can do because you're going to it too hungry and then you eat and you overeat. Um, so those are some things, and there's so many others in the blog uh, that, that you can read about, uh, and there's some great references in there. Number three, and we're done. I'm going to wrap this up. What are some uh, tips to get those extra pounds off, those extra two or three pounds or one or two pounds in the, in the two months after the holidays? Number one, realistic goals. It's probably going to take you more than a month. Uh, if you lose one pound a week, uh, which would be great, that would be kind of a restrictive diet of 1,500 calories on average. You could do that, but you're probably looking at two weeks to get a pound off. So you're talking about a month or two, sometimes three, to get back to where you were. With a balanced diet, usually... Uh, with higher protein, lower pro highly processed, uh, you know, high glycemic foods. You want to go with more protein, whole foods. Uh, and then here's the other thing. Regular exercise has got to be part of your, I guess, habit after the holidays if you want to get back. And you're not looking for the exercise to actually take the weight off. You're looking at just to create that new habit so you can keep your weight uh, coming down a little bit uh, with your diet and your exercise, but also a new habit. Uh, track your progress. Stay consistent. The biggest problem people make is they start out with their New Year's resolution, right? <laughs> They're going to lose all this weight and they go out there and only do it for a little while. No, you got to stay with it. Uh, and you got to stay patient with it because uh, it didn't go on overnight. It's not going to come off overnight, right? Again, a uh, big thing is stay hydrated. That's so important. But also really prioritize your sleep because when it comes to getting some pounds off, sleep, uh, depriving yourself of sleep is not a good thing. Uh, so you always want to do that. So I don't know. 
those are just a few tips I skimmed it because there's so much in the blog and I got to tell you um, for the last four years I've done really well during the holiday seasons incorporating some of the things that I put in this blog and in this video and I highly recommend that you really take a look at it but you know the, the holiday should be a very festive time very fun time a way for you to indulge a little bit here and there of course uh, but you can counter that uh, you don't want to go crazy which is what I don't do anymore but I, I counter that with some other strategies that we talked about here so hope that helps until next video podcast stay healthy stay strong uh, learn to really get some strategies so you can prevent the weight gain during the holiday season and we hope you have a very healthy happy and prosperous holiday season a new year and uh, as always, we're here for you. So God bless. Enjoy the holidays.